Welcome back to Triple R. We have a racing game versus racing game for the Atari 2600. The first one we're going to talk about is Enduro. Enduro was published by Activision. It came out February 1st, 1983. Uh, the presentation for this is pretty cool. You'll be driving what looks like a Formula 1 car versus the sports car that's on the cover art. You'll be on a green road with white borders. One of the cooler things is the times of day change in this game. So the further you get, it'll go day to night, night to day. So that's pretty cool. Uh, there's also a snow level where well, the road will turn white. Uh, this really does help with the overall feel of the game. The car itself is nothing special, and all the other cars are identical to your car, just different colors. Gameplay Enduro. In this game, you're not racing other cars, but racing to pass a certain amount of cars, shown at the bottom of the screen. Uh, the sounds in the game are pretty good. The car has a nice loud engine. Um, there is no car damage. When you hit another car, you'll slow down greatly and you'll kind of slide off to the side for a second. The game is only one player, probably due to the limits of the 2600. I think if it was a two player game, this game would have really shined. Even still, I like this game very much. I still enjoy playing it, zooming past cars as fast and as cautiously as I can. I'm going to give Enduro for the 2600 an 8.5 out of 10. Now the other Formula 1 type game is Pole Position. So Pole Position was a port from the arcade, uh, released for 2600. The port for the most part got the job done as far as delivering that Pole Position experience, although it had some odd controls, which I'll touch on a little bit later. Uh, the game had a pretty good look. It had the red and white borders on the sides of the track, so that helped the arcade feel. The road was gray, so it looked more like a racetrack than Enduro's mostly green road. You have your speed and timer shown in the upper right hand corner, and high low gear shown in the upper left. The car itself actually has three colors, a red body with the orange, what I think is supposed to be the spoiler, and black tires. So your car looks pretty good. The other racers however are one color, and it's this kind of ugly off yellowish color that doesn't look great. Uh, the gameplay and pole position. Once you know the controls, the game is fun, has a nice sense of speed. Now as for the controls, your car, your car automatically accelerates and the button is used to brake and the gears are chosen by pressing up or down on the joystick. It works overall. The game does lack in variety. Uh, you'll qualify, then you'll race the race and just for to extend your time and that's about it. There's also kind of a max time you can get if you speed run this game where you won't you won't be able to get any faster than that time. So, there isn't much left after you qualify, you race the race, and just kind of continue. It's still fun, good sense of speed. I still like the game, but I'm going to give pole position a 6 out of 10. So, by scores alone, you can see Enduro is a clear winner. It has multiple stages, it feels like more cars on the screen, lengthier gameplay. Um, pole position plus this to me would be the track looks better, and your main car also looks a bit nicer than Enduro's car. Other than that, there just isn't enough game in pole position. So, the winner is Enduro. Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.